What's up guys, Sean Black with FM Evolution and we're so excited to be coming to you live from 2019 annual convention for PRISM in Denver, Colorado. We're excited to have a lot of really great guests. The show's all about innovation. We got some leading innovation experts on this show. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Check out this next video. What's up guys, it's Sean Black with FM Evolution and we are still here in Denver, Colorado for the 2019 PRISM Now Connect Show. And uh, I have another guest with us. I'm so excited to have Frank Bachetta from Total Comfort Group. Hey, man, welcome to the show. What's going on, man? Thanks for having me. You know what? It's about, it's about the end of the show. We're wrapping up. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. It's been a yes. long show. It's, been, it's definitely been a long show. But it's been, it's been really, really great, though. A lot of really great connections, good vendors. Uh, for you guys, you guys are definitely a, a, a big part of the show. You've got a, a big presence. Yeah, uh, we've been doing a show for a number of years now, and uh, we, we sponsor and invest heavily in the show. Yeah. It's members and, and really the vendors. It's a great time to get together and, and kind of you know, meet and connect and, yes. and, and see what's next. It's a lot of fun, too. Yes. I mean, it's all work. It's all work. It, it's, uh, if my <laughs> wife is, it's all work. Oh, it's all work. It's all work. It's not fun. <laughs> We're not having fun here. So, man, for people who don't know, I don't know how many of those are, but for don't know who Total Comfort Group is, Tell me a little bit about how'd you guys get started? Yeah, What's so your story? Uh, we started out in 2008, so this is our 11th year in business. And um, What a time to start, by the way. Yeah, uh, it right? was odd because the right. bottom fell out. The bomb basically fell and, out. And uh, probably the worst time uh, to start a business. <laughs> in a history, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty so, close. But uh, awesome that you did. Yeah. Um, what was your inspiration? Like, what, what the heck? So, you know, it was funny. We just, just got tired of working for other companies that uh, weren't doing it right. You know, right. we saw a different kind of path forward and uh, really thought that, you know, I could make a difference uh, in performing, you know, a service that we felt was underserved to yeah. the retail community. I love that. I love talking with entrepreneurs and I really love hearing their kind of their start story because it seems more often than not, it's about doing a better job providing more value to the clients, and then just being able to serve others at a higher level. Yeah. It seems to me that I hear that more often than not. I love to hear that about you guys. Yeah, it's it's really the cornerstone of, of what we do and who we are. It's in our DNA as a company. And uh, really the philosophy that, that we live by is, you know, do it right or make it right. Nice. Um, so that's kind of our mantra. It's what we run on. Um, and that's how we, you know, we've come to be known in, in the the Prism Connects right. community. Connects. Um, we got to get used to that, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> it is. It's going to be interesting to see how that changes. You guys have grown a lot in, in that time, then, right? So how many? How do you I mean? Who did you start with? And did you, <clears throat> we, yeah, we were so, talking earlier in like nineteen different states now. No, self perform in nineteen states. Correct. Correct. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely nuts. Oh my god, <laughs> that was absolutely the loudest sneeze. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was tough. I'm just that was tough. I'm so happy you're still alive right I, now. I thought something was coming at me. That was We're insane. All good. That um, was incredible. Yeah, I think I had a stroke. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm, Where do we go from there? <laughs> I, I don't even know. What were we talking about? We were um, talking about your growth. Oh, yeah, god. that um, was crazy, man. So, so yeah, we started out in '08, and uh, really, uh, the business was based out of New Jersey, but. We started getting calls in like Delaware and Maryland and, and everywhere that was other than home. Yeah. So, um, you know, went ahead and got licensed in those areas. And, you know, I started the business um, with, the, with the service manager that I had worked for previously. And uh, my uncle at the time owned a construction company, gave me a barred van, probably the worst van in the fleet. <laughs> Like blown out window, exactly. no passenger mirror, like right. the whole nine. But hey, it was like a free truck. Wait, he's like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. So, yeah. and it, it was branded Bach Builders on the side of the truck. Okay. It wasn't total comfort. So like, I'd park halfway down the street, <laughs> run into the locations. Um, nice. But yeah, so start out in Maryland and Delaware, and then it was funny. We like work filled in in every state but New Jersey for like probably a good three years. Um, funny. Yeah, it's, it's funny how it works out, but um, yeah, we started it in 08 in, in May, and we were able to hire our first employee uh, with medical benefits in December, and we just started on this trajectory of, 
you know, double and triple growth. Isn't that funny each year. as an entrepreneur how you remember that milestone? Yeah, well, you know, it's just one of those things. It, it, it's you know, it's funny, man. Like when we started this out, it was important for us um, to treat. You know, we're technicians, right? Right. Yeah. So like, you know what it's like to get in a truck. Yeah, you've been on that insurance. side of things. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and, and I say this, and it's like very cliche, but. We're not a profits first company. We do the right thing. We take people care of first. our people. Yes. You know, we make sure yes. that, that that's done. And then the profits follow, right? If you got Always. people yes. that are invested, that care, that want to do the right thing, um, you know, that's that's your business. That's the face of what you're doing. So it's very important for us to make sure that we were putting it out there and, and having our guys taken care of. I can tell you right now without knowing anything else about your company, to know just that part, I can tell you that's why you're successful. It's, I mean, there's so there's so many other things, right? But at the core, yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, yeah, it's humbling, yeah. you know. And it's like anything else. I, I, there's no right right formula to it, right? It's it's uh, you work hard, you, you get do. lucky, and you make mistakes, and, and you make mistakes, yeah. and you and you you pay like hell yes, to, you to do. make them right. Yes, uh, and hopefully you you do things right, then make more mistakes. But, but that's the win. That's the win because people realize that you're going to come to the table. And if you're not going to do it right, you're going to make it right. You make it and right. That, that's what we do. I think, and I, you know, CGP has been in construction for 30 years. That, that is, that's core to doing business and continuing to do business. Right. You can make as many mistakes. Well, there's a limit. There's a there's a limit. There's a limit. But but you can make mistakes, and if you correct them and you stand up, if you, here's the thing: is if you can find out before the client finds out, and then go, hey, this is what we did. We made a mistake. But here's the solution, and we're fixing it. Yeah, and, and they're like, "What? That's well, great." You yeah. know what it is? Um, it's honesty. It's transparency. It like, is. You know, no one's perfect. You're gonna make mistakes. Yeah, that's right. But you know, clients can sniff that out in a heartbeat, right? Yeah. Oh and, my gosh. And, yes. and you never wanna. You wanna be as transparent as possible because they're your partner. It's, it, as soon as it becomes transactional, it's not a relationship. So yeah, you got to do the right thing, and, and you got to make sure that you're very kind of upfront about what's going on because mistakes are made on both ends. Yeah. It's all about how you rebound from those and then carry the relationship forward. Yeah, because you know what? You by you stepping up and building that relationship with them, there's gonna be a time where you need something back from them too. Oh it's yeah. It's two way street. Yeah. Every single time. What do you think was the biggest challenge I don't know, at, with with starting the business and getting going? Um I think that's I think a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I want to do it. I want to start my own business. But it's not easy, man. It's super hard. Yeah, no, I, I would never do it again. Right? See, that's um, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not something that I wouldn't recommend to my worst enemy. <laughs> um, no, but it's true. Yeah, it's it true. Fun. I mean, listen, if, if, you know, eventually if you do the right thing and you work hard, people are going to start to take notice. Right. Uh, and That's you right. want them to take notice for all the right reasons and not the wrong not reasons. The wrong reasons. And uh, you know, I found that uh, a major part of our success has been that uh, we'll pick up the phone and respond. And for as big as we are, with as many people as we have, and so on and so forth, um, if something's not right, I'm going to pick up the phone personally, and I'm going to make it right. I think so, that's, that goes to. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just. You know, and my, my people and my team and everyone knows that and they know how important, you know, that is. So, uh, you know, on occasion, you got to eat some crow. You got to make it, you gotta make it right. And you you got to get to the bottom of it and work it out. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the biggest thing. And the biggest thing is transparency, being honest. And then, um, you know, it doesn't hurt to do a little uh, networking and sponsorship because everything's <laughs> better with friends. Well, listen, if you're doing something good, you, people need to understand that that's the case. And they won't know if you don't tell them. Exactly. They won't know. And it's the old adage: for every bad thing you do, fifty that people boy, find out. Right. For every wrong, for every right thing you do, two or three. That's so, right. Uh, it's not bad to get that <laughs> out in the, in the stratosphere when you do some things right. Yeah, I tell your story. People, I mean, even here, I mean, being in a business as long as you guys have and, and, and we have, people find out about if you and you're doing a good job, it spreads. Yeah. But that's why you're able to go from one city to another city to because a lot of these guys manage multiple locations across a wide variety of of, uh, of of areas. So, but at the same time, without the recognition at, at these events, sometimes they won't, they may never know. You know, they'll connect to some of the other people and they'll, sometimes organically you can do it, 
but you do you're right you do need the exposure yeah and that's why you know groups like connects and and other groups are so important because you know at the end of the day it's not necessarily about you know getting new business yeah. it's about solidifying your relationships with your current clients and your partners and and talking with other vendors and seeing what's going on and, and really just staying ahead of the curve uh, about you know some of the things that are going on in the industry and, and, and trying to wrap your head around all the fast moving pieces it's no, it's um, no joke. that are going on. It, it, things are changing so rapidly right now. I have met so many cool people at these events that I probably maybe have never ever met before, you know? It just, it gives you that ability to connect and, 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 and in a way you probably did not going to get sitting at home. Yeah, know? no, I definitely agree. It's, 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 it's a great, uh, it's a great feeling to kind of connect with people that you wouldn't necessarily run into, run into right. or talk to, because we're all located, yeah. you know, across the country, right? right? Like I'm not, I'm not going to cruise in New Jersey and run into Frank. Come on down. <laughs> I'll take it for some good time. You know, we'll man, go. Okay. Know? All right. I'll go. I'm down, I'm, I, I'll take, it, I'll yeah. take you up on that. Don't, don't threaten me with a good time. So my project manager always tells me, <laughs> don't you threaten me with a good time. I will go. So man, what a cool journey for you guys. We, you know, on the show, um, FN Evolution, we focus a lot on innovation. So uh, one of the things I really wanted to connect with you on is, is innovation. Because I know that in the industry that you work in, there's a lot of innovation going on still, consistently. Yes. So I want to kind of see what you guys are doing. So uh, a couple of interesting things that we're doing. Uh, one, uh, we're partnering more and more with manufacturers okay. uh, on the, the repair and service end, which is, which is keeping us uh, ahead of the curve and our and our people educated on what's next. Right. So you know we find that very beneficial now that equipment standards and efficiencies are changing and 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 there's a lot of talk around um, you know energy savings and so on and so forth. So we've done some really interesting things with uh, York National Accounts Johnson Controls right. uh, and some 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 stuff on the equipment end with them and then we're doing uh, a ton of stuff with. Uh, transformative wave on uh, the technology piece for energy savings. Interesting, yeah. Um, so, you know, for us, it's been it's been a big uh, part of what we're doing, uh, and you know, we really see it as the future because, you know, the equipment's only getting smarter, needs are only getting more complex, yeah. Uh, and the equipment is just uh, it's getting crazy, you know. You know, I heard something interesting, and I I, I need to do more research on it, but. I heard they're going to defund or take away Energy Star. Did you hear that? Yeah, so um, there, there's some talks around it. There's some things going on. Um, I think ultimately, you know, states are going to start to follow what uh, California and, right. and other states yes. are doing, yeah. uh, which I think is, is much needed for, for energy efficiency and savings. Right. Uh, you know, and being from California, you know exactly. what's going on with, you know, the environment and the weather and the water well, and listen, like all we, these things. We, we complain all day long about California. Thank you, California. We still love you. But I'm going to tell you what, they have a lot of regulations, a lot of laws and rules, but all that aside, they do help lead the way for energy conservation and, and setting kind of standards. And I love the fact that a lot of the country is following that now. You know? And, yeah, and, I think. Or, or even going above that. It, it's got to be, it's got to be the path forward yeah, because, you true. know, the status quo just isn't cutting it anymore. Um, and really, by staying the status quo, it's stifling innovation. Yep. So, uh, you know, you're as the you're need, dying, man. Yeah, man, as the need gets more complex, newer technology, newer software, better ways to do things are coming out, and we're glad to be, you know, in that conversation at the forefront, helping these manufacturers and these clients move forward addressing those needs. So. Kind of on that line, I mean, with Prism innovating and changing, like how you, how long have you been at Prism? How many years? Now connect. So uh, I think this is Hashtag. our sixth or seventh year okay. that we've been That's at Prism for. Yeah, yeah. It's been a it's been a wild ride. You know, we when we first joined, <laughs> See? you know, we, right? we were like the new kid on the block, didn't know anybody. Um, but yeah, it's it's all about connections. You know, over that first year, you kind of you kind of join, you go to the events, you meet some some interesting people. And then, you know, as you continue on this journey and, and network and, and meet these great people, uh, you really start to learn what the community is about, you know, how the people uh, connect and take care of each other. Right. And we really found a, you know, found a place in this, in this sense of community 
that that was formed here, and uh, we're it enjoying it. It definitely is that. So, what's next, man? Kind of wrap up, but like, I want to I want to know what's next for you guys. What's the next big thing for Total Cover? Yeah. So, you know, currently we just moved into the state of Texas. Nice. Um, so love Texas. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yes. that that's been interesting in itself, but uh, it's a great market. Uh, we have a lot of. Uh, heavy customer demand in that market. Right. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, our roadmap uh, has us moving into California. Nice. Uh, probably in the next two to three years. Outstanding. So, um, you know, I think for us, um, you know, the growth has been great, but we're really focusing on our core customers. You know, what services can we do as a value add yes. to make sure that we are, you know, getting, getting and giving the most um, for our clients, you know, to to sustain those relationships, and just making sure that they can be taken care of. So that's right. Um, that's what it boils down to. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, so we do HVAC and refrigeration is a huge part of our business, but we also do uh, electrical. We're licensed electrical contractors in all the states that we serve, wow. uh, and that's big because yeah, that's big. You know, it's not like you have to call multiple vendors to get one job done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that, well, we that use for you. us. There yeah. you go. Hey, See? listen, there you go. There you Connected go. Connected making business. <laughs> I love it, man. All right, man. Well, I'm so excited to have you on the show. Thank you for coming on. For those who want to find you, what's the best way to, to, to reach out to you guys and connect? Yeah. So um, LinkedIn, Total Comfort Group. Yes. Uh, and then we have a Facebook page, Total Comfort Group, once again. Yes. And then our website, www.total-cg.com. hyphen That's the dash sign CG .com. Don't forget the hyphen. That's, it's high for me. Got to do that. <laughs> well, listen, don't be surprised when I show up for Italian food in New Jersey with you. Make, make sure you are good and hungry because we're going to go to a I'm, good place. I don't, I don't like play around. That, yeah. Don't play around with me like that. All right, I'll come. And when you come to California, I'll sit you down with some awesome country stuff. <laughs> and we'll go, to, <laughs> we'll go to Mexican food, man. It's great. Sounds good, man. Well, thank you for so much for being on the show, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. It's been a it. pleasure. Yeah.